Live look now at the viaduct tonight where there is a very significant closure that just took effect. Washington has now shut down ramps near the stadiums for good. And then a week from right now, the viaduct, the entire thing will close down permanently. King 5's Natalie Swaby is live at the on-ramp at Royal Brome with the details that you need to know. Natalie. Yeah, if you were with us in the last hour at 9 o'clock, you already saw some cones blocking this ramp. That's because there was a little confusion out here with the crews about closing time, but they've since corrected that, and they are now closing right now at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is closing time for this ramp here at Royal Brome and also for the ramp at South Atlantic Street. 23,000 drivers use these ramps near the stadium every day. 90,000 drivers rely on the viaduct daily. Tonight, we hear from one family bracing for the big changes. It's the countdown to the closure. Bold, bright letters deliver the warning to drivers here, and Pamela Crumpacker is spreading the word, too. I feel like it's doing my part, but I feel like it's really not doing enough. Her Facebook post reads, it's time to get ready. She sent that message to customers who rely on the family-owned business. TCC Printing and Imaging. We're one of the oldest printing companies in Seattle. Here they demonstrate what they do daily. 28 page self cover calendar for the city of Edmonds. Cranking out orders as fast as they can, but they're worried they're about to hit a speed bump. We are right in the heart of it. Their Seattle building, a short drive from the stadiums, relies on the southbound State Route 99 off ramp at South Atlantic Street and the northbound on ramp at South Royal Brome. Tonight, both close forever, followed by the viaduct shutdown just a week away. When the viaduct closed for 10 days in 2016, drive time spiked, especially in the morning, adding about 15 minutes on the westbound I-90 commute and an extra 25 minutes to travel between Federal Way and Seattle. Well, I told my husband, I said, what are we going to do? <laughs> um, I, we really don't know. We have really no idea. And That's husband Michael's answer for now. He is offering his employees flex hours and he's bracing for some challenging weeks. It's going to impact how we drive our deliveries because we have a delivery service. That's what worries them as they get ready for the rough road ahead. Now you can see the ramps are now officially closed and by closing these ramps, it's going to allow crews to do some work near the south end of the tunnel. Now, if you need to learn about ways around the closures or alternative travel options like water taxi and light rail, just head to our website at king5.com. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.